I found the ugliest builds on the gallery. Do you want to see them? Okay, if you go over to the gallery and, and connect to it, because I forgot to do that, go to hashtag and type in FDG no thanks. It's spelled like that. You will find the ugliest builds on the gallery, and we we will be looking at them today. If, if it would load! The first one we're going to be looking at is called Pain by Lunar Pinecone. Bless you, fake gamer girl, for allowing me to channel my inner five-year-old and creating this monstrosity. You are truly an inspiration to us all. Thank you very much. I really hate that you made this. I know a lot of you might say that this is a very mean video, but to that I say, well, maybe don't build so ugly then. Oh, she's beautiful. Can you, can you, can you, can, can you tell I'm sleep deprived? Oh my, oh my God. Oh, my, there is uh, a lot to unpack here. And I don't even want to unpack here. I don't know why I moved here. Uh, I, what, what do you even say about this? First, we have thatched roofing. Doesn't even have have the outer rim done so that's that's great and then you have like a skylight skylights are pretty nice i'll give you that um and then whatever the what wow it just gets worse the more around i go you didn't even bother to paint that oh my god and it's boats oh there's a lot of windows there's a whole there's a lot there's a lot shout out to this one column that is supporting nothing that is how i feel on a daily but oh three columns supporting nothing my brethren sorry th there's another one there's a fourth one as well well. How how do you even get inside? Uh, probably through the many holes. I, I, the inside does not look any more pleasing either. Is there a door? I do not. I do not believe there is a door here. All right, I'll just crawl in through one of these holes. Okay, so we have some horsies. Very nice. I love the color scheme. I don't think there will ever be another color scheme. You know that kit that came out, or I don't even know if it came out yet. I've been ignoring kits, but that one. That's what I imagine that kit was like. I love all the lights, so it's very well lit in here. We have counters that crawl across the entire room for no reason. Oh, there is a door. Sorry, I just didn't see you there. We have uh, Chewbacca and Cruella de Vil here to greet us. There are there are some doors. There are ways to go about this place. This room I don't think is as ugly. I do think that the sink just kind of not. It's not even against the wall. I think that is the most insulting thing about this entire build. Hi, Barney. No, okay. The more I go around this place, the more I hate it. I can't wait to cook here and burn this entire fucking place to the ground. I love this one green wall. That makes me feel good. I'll go through this door. I've decided I want to get out of this room. There's no way it can get worse. Oh, oh my. Why, why are there so many? Hello. I love that this is also uncolored and that the lights are in a very awkward place. Oh, fake gamer girl, you can't call people's builds ugly. Uh, when they look like this, I can. Hi, Fridge. This feels like a horror game. Oh, oh, hi. He, he. Okay, where does this door lead to? It leads to another door. Okay, what is in here? Another door. Wow. Oh my God. That one green wall reappearing again. I just farted. Oh, this is the master bedroom. Okay. I love, I love this. I love whatever's going on over there. I love that that's the where it is. Oh, the decals. That's very, very beautiful. Very, um, get me out of here. This is the worst thing I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> This isn't an entry, but I would just like to say that I love that somebody just fucking uploaded Judith Ward's house to this. I don't disagree. The next one we're going to be looking at is called Le Migraine by Saints and Simmers. Have you ever had a migraine? Have you ever been inside the corporeal realization of a migraine? Why would your answer to the second one be yes? Please enjoy this absolute monstrosity of a house included a carpeted bathroom and patterned wallpaper in nearly every room. I am a frequent, not user of migraines. That sounds like it's a drug. I'm a frequent migraine haver. And am I about to willingly give myself one? Yeah. I also need to sneeze and nothing will come out. <laughs> Thank you. I know you said bless you. That's why I thanked you. Have you ever like really needed to poo in the middle of a task, but you have to finish the task first before you can go and poo? I wouldn't know what that's like. Anyway, we're going to go in now. Welcome to Le Migraine. To be honest, I know that the colors are all clashing, but why do I kind of vibe with this? Why don't I hate this? I think this is actually a very beautiful exterior. I mean, this is not ugly. Maybe the colors are a little bit uh, Pixar film, but I mean, Pixar can do it. And this is actually kind of, it clashes, but it's kind of cute. Okay, I will, I digress. I will see how I feel once I enter Le Migraine. Get your ibuprofen ready, gamers. What do we, oh no, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. 
what the fuck is this color scheme? What the fuck? There's that doesn't even look that doesn't even look right. That, that's Tetris. I like the carpet pattern you had going on there. That took some time. Uh, all the wallpaper does not match with anything in here. I hate that door. Those fucking base game doors. I hate them. Is that me? Who is that? Oh, this is the sink is that way and the okay and the wow. Oh, uh, hey, really good commentary. Somebody left their fucking fruit salad here, and that's the most insulting part about this. This is pretty cramped and uh, very diagonal, which I'm not very happy with. Uh, what fucking door? This one. Oh, this is ugly. This is really ugly. Like, it's not that bad. Like, each room has a theme, which is very cohesive. It's nothing like the first one we did. Oh, no. Now that I'm looking at the carpet. Oh, no. Now that I'm looking at the... I hate this. I hate... That's not even supposed to be there. That's not how you do curtains. No, no, no. This is... This is hurting my heart. Not just my brain, but my fucking heart. Excuse me. I don't even know how to fucking get past here. Oh, okay. No, this is ugly as well. Wait, this is very messy. This looks like my office and I'm not super happy about that, Lucy. I want to get out of here. That's claustrophobic. Okay, next room. A carpeted bathroom. We love we love it. We this is not there's two showers here right in front of a window and the curtain is right in the shower, so that's going to get soggy wet. Okay, where's the toilet? Oh, right here. Where else would it be? Against the window as well with the mirror so you can watch yourself shit. This house gets worse the more you think about it. Like on the surface, it's not that bad. But the more, the more you look, the more you hate. And also the showers are floating. I hate this place. All right. Is there another room I can go into? I feel like I swear there was one more door. There wasn't. Okay. We're just going to go outside to the backyard now. And I don't think the backyard is necessarily that bad. Okay. No, I don't think I like it. Nothing here matches. And there's a well, 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 well. I fucking hate this place. <laughs> The next one that we're gonna be looking at is British Terraced House by Cliste96. I kept thinking about ugly houses that would make you queasy and uncomfortable. I thought of irregular windows, impractical architecture, non-functional furniture placements, and simply a packaged depression you can mortgage. Then I realized all of that and much more is included in typical British <laughs> architecture. So without further ado, I present to you a house I used to live in. Garden is non-existent and the view of a burnt shed not included. This feels very pointed, which is why I'm so excited to be reviewing this. Listen, as an American living in the UK, I will admit British architecture, I've got many questions for her. Number one question, why? All right, love, let's go have a look-see. The part that makes this even better is the fact that you know somebody actually lived in a house that looked exactly like this, and I bet a lot of you actually do still, which is what makes this so fucking funny, because it is pretty ugly. The windows aren't even symmetrical, which is a thing that happens with British architecture and it, it's so dirty. Let's go inside. I love, I love this already. I hate this already. Uh, yeah, we do love just fucking cramped ass stairs. This is so British. I, this is so, cr oh my God. Why is this so long? Hi, sorry, my cat is bothering me. Why is this so long? Why is this like this? Why is, why, why is that just like one tile off as well? Mini fridge on top of a shelf? Yeah, okay. This, I hate this and some book storage. That's it's not so bad. I don't like the floor plan. I don't like the floor plan. I don't like the floor plan. How can you tell if the build is British? I don't like the floor plan. I don't like the floor plan. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Why are there so many chairs? Why is the TV angled like there's no- How do you get in? Yeah, excuse me. I have to break my fucking glass coffee table to sit here and watch television. Why am I so short? There we go. I have to break my glass coffee table to be able to watch television. Okay. Good thing we have balls. All right, get me out of this room ASAP, please, and thank Thank you. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Do I want to go upstairs? No. Do I have to? No. Am I going to? Yes. Okay. This is not so bad. This is a thing. This is normal. I hate it. So it's the floor plan. It's like, why are British houses so fucking, there's so many corners. There's no need for this. Okay. What's in this room? Oh my God. Oh my God. Like, I know it's not as bad as the first build we looked at, but it is objectively worse. Did that make sense? No, but this pains me. All of this just fucking 
pains me. What's in here? This is not so bad. I actually don't hate this so much. It's just very cramped and British, which can make you hate it, I guess. And then the final room uh, is the, oh my fuck. British bathrooms are so tiny. Even my bathroom IRL is so fucking small. And like everything is so cramped and like you, you can't have a comfortable bath in here. You can't. Everything is so squishy. And is this like a little claw? Of course it is. When you open that door, it hits that door. So you have to like fucking squeeze yourself into a corner sometimes. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I, 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 I like, I genuinely prefer that one over that one. Next one we're going to be looking at is Sunny's Fun House by You Likes 2020. The tragic clown has his own restaurant. It's tacky, dirty, and literally has an old trailer park attached to it. Why would anybody eat here? Well, when the simoleon doesn't hold much weight these days, unless your last name is Land Grab, and your social butterfly of a kid insists that you take them there after school so they can eat the cheap, greasy pizza with their friends, there's little choice. The employees are even fighting to keep their jobs at this ugly place. Um, what? I would have absolutely made my parents take me here so I can fucking do the speed run for the quickest way to get food poisoning. And I would have had a great time. Do you ever just like feel sad when you remember grown-ups work at Chuck E. Cheese? Welcome to Sunshine Funny something something something. It's not even sunny here because I had to move us to Sulani because this was a 64 by 64 lot and also Sulani's supposed to be sunny, but it's not. So here we are. It's It looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. Like this looks like an actual lot, which is like, it just, it looks good. This looks like an actual place. And I love how it's attached to a trailer park. However, the thing that does make this an ugly lot is because I mean, look at the fucking tacky color scheme. It's gross with a purpose. And that's why I love it. So we're gonna go inside now and uh, have them. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? Is that a fucking migraine? Oh my god, do I have a fucking mig? I hate this. I hate that. Why are you using all of the primary colors at once plus orange? Oh, this is so tacky. I feel bad for every parent. I feel bad for parents in general. Like one, imagine having a child, but two, imagine having a child and having to take them here. Like, what is this? That is very interesting. I feel like this adds to it tenfold. Okay, we're gonna go around around the back now. How do I even get into the kitchen? Oh, there's a door there, I'm sure. Never mind, we're running past here. Nice stain, by the way. We're running past here and we're gonna find our way into the kitchen. This is fucking gross. Imagine working here. Imagine that. That is so sad. It's so, it's so nasty. Why is this so nasty? This hurts my brain. Why is there a security camera here? Anyway, we're gonna go behind the scary doors. Why is there another security camera here with an even scarier door? Okay. Still ugly though. Still a very ugly color scheme. Why? Is there another security camera here with scary stairs? Don't tell me there's a fucking basement in here. I haven't done this forever and you guys are fucking adding basements. Kill me. I don't want to be here. What the fuck is this? I thought we were at Chuck E. Cheese. Why is there this? A mugshot station? Why is there an office? Why is there a Why is there a cash register? Oh, it's a fighting pit. Oh my god, let me in. Let me in. Yes! Yes! I don't even care about the prompt anymore. This is where it's at. Oh my god, I wish my parents took me to Chuck E. Cheese more often. Let me in. Let me in the ring. Let me in the ring. This is televised. Who's watching this? Oh my god, I love this so much. This is my happy place. You know when your therapist tells you that you need to ground yourself by finding and imagining your happy place? This is what it looks like for me. Dude, they got fucking snacks. Okay, another security camera. I'm so excited. I'm not even scared anymore. I am ready to participate in whatever lies beyond these doors, and I will not regret saying that. No, this is just a, a a clinic for when the fighters get injured. Healthcare. I support healthcare. Let's go through this one. Okay. Training room. Not so bad. And snacks. This is my favorite place in the world. I don't care how ugly and tacky upstairs is. This is the best place to exist. Locker room. Look, this is like kind of wholesome though. This is like not that bad. And you get refreshments. I highly recommend bringing your kids here. Last one we're going to be looking at is called an abomination by Pasta Party 27. Does this house want to be modern? Cottage court? Goth? Who knows? All we know is that it's a horrible abomination and a disgrace to the Sims community, and that's exactly why I am featuring it in my video. I'm on my last fucking brain cell today. You're just a chicken. Cheep, 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 cheep. Oh. Th this is already pretty fucking ugly. I like, I, I like how many styles it's going for because we do 
have the sort of suburban, modern, Karen type of vibes. And then we have the goth vibes, which are my personal favorite. We have whatever the fuck that is and whatever the fuck that is and whatever the fuck any of this is. So I think so far we're in for a treat. This is a, a neon sign. Nobody ever uses this in their builds because it's so like tacky and I love it. Okay, we're gonna go into, I can already see what's inside and I don't like it. Oh my God, this is an attack. This is literally a hate crime and I am the one being hated on. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? You couldn't even stick to one color for the counters. Red and purple, get the fuck out of here. And this and the wallpaper and there's a fucking fish out and it's not even a nice fish. It's a scary fish. Hey, it's got a plump up on it. This is disgusting. You didn't even put your groceries away. That's your eggs are going to stink up so bad. It gets worse. How does it get worse? What the fuck is this? Stop with the Christmas. It's not Christmas. What is that computer? What is the floor? What is this? It's nothing matches. Everything clashes. This is kind of cute. Well, it was until I looked up and saw the fucking beehive up there. No, thank you. This is a, a this is painful. Oh, can't wait for the bathroom. Is that a fucking debug cat? I fucking hate debug cat. It's so scary. What is this? Is this braille? What the fuck? Hi, Mr. Krebs. I don't like that. I hate it. I'm going upstairs now. Also, it's not fucking Christmas. Do I want to delve deeper into this house? No, I don't. And I don't even like the position in which the stairs are positioned. It. Why? Ow, this is an outdoor item. Why are you putting it indoors? What the fuck? Why is the bed there? Why is that there? Why is that positioned? It? Everything is wrong. This would give Lil Simsy a heart attack. What the hell? Okay, I'll go on the balcony. It can't be that bad. It actually can't be that bad. It's not even that bad. I'm going back in though. All right, and then the last room is another bath. Why? 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 What the fuck? What the, uh, no barkies in here. Well, I, I hate to break it to you, but there's a fucking dinosaur in your ugly ass bathtub. And there are windows fucking everywhere. Why? It's not even positioned in a way where that would be useful. You like you can't watch TV like this. You'd have to watch it through the tiniest mirror in the world, but from a toileting position, you'll only see half of the screen and it would be backwards. This is the worst. This is the worst part of anything in this video is this. I am so painfully insulted by this. Ah! Be sure to go to the gallery and type in FGG no thanks to give some love and credit to these beautiful builds. There's more than this, I swear. It's just the gallery being dumb. If you want to participate in another build competition, just keep watching my videos this week and I'll announce another one. Bye!